Like a lot of the games on my list, Red Dead Redemption 2 is not that new, and since I hadn't gotten through Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, I decided it was about that time. The story is some of the best written western fiction I've ever seen out there. Rockstar really nailed the atmosphere in this game, and even more so in first person mode. Sometimes I just like to hang out and just watch the world move. The world really is your oyster in this game, and after 50 hours on PC, I feel like I've just scratched the surface of possibilities in this frontier. I've always been a big fan of zombie games, and an even bigger fan of hardcore survival games. It's something about starting with absolutely nothing, and scavenging and building towards being self-sustained, and challenging yourself to survive in a world where it really doesn't want you to. Project Zomboid scratches all these itches and then some. Zomboid is an isometric survival roguelike game where you create a character with whatever negative, positive, and job traits you want, and the goal is to survive as long as you can before succumbing to a myriad of different ways you can die. The world of Zomboid is unforgiving and downright unfair at times. But that's the point. When you die in Zomboid, it's over and making every choice you actually make actually matter. There's no reloads here. You die, you start again. Seriously, this is some of the most fun I've had in a survival kind of builder game in a very, very long time. If you haven't noticed in these games that I've chosen, I'm a bit of a masochist when it comes to difficulty. I really do crave challenge and Loop Hero has done well, as this game is about unforgiving as any other roguelike type game out there. I love the idea of building your own battlefield to fuel your own loot and fuel your own loop. The game's monsters are all varied and interesting. The game also constantly throws new cards at you to try, and since almost everything has some sort of synergy when placed in different ways, there is plenty of discoverability and lore to be found in this game. Anomaly fixes most if not all the problems the original games had, piecing together literally every map you encounter in the previous games while giving them a fresh coat of paint and even adding new areas to boot. Every enemy, gear, person, and items you had in these games are here in one big open world package, even adding things such as new items, missions, and even new weapons. All this makes the game most utterly impossible to put down for me. And now I have over 2,000 hours in this world from many years of coming back and starting new characters and just trying new things. I expected this game to be a quick game of the month move on type of deal. I wasn't expecting to love its gorgeous world, its fun gameplay, or its insanely well detailed and told story. Literally, I was absolutely blindsided by 14. This game is the hype and then some, and all of its praises and love is definitely warranted. It's free, go try it, and experience something really special that you don't see often in this gaming space. Seriously, it's, on like, it, I, I really don't know what else to say. It's free, go, go play it. Why aren't you playing it right now? Go, go, right now, go.